place in Thailand here, retired and living the dream. And today's video might be another long one because I'm going to wash the car. It's about some things that have just been mentioned with regard to Thailand and the way forward next year in 2022. Now the Thai Thailand has just come out with a new slogan, Visit Thailand 2022. Now even more amazing, Thailand has it all together with new investment opportunities. So we're going to discuss this. I'm going to wash the car. So here we go. With new, with new adventures and new things that you can do with regard to investments. Now I've already done a video with regard to investing in Thailand and what Thailand wants as far as wealthy tourism or wealthy retirees coming to Thailand. Again, have a look at my video and see what that was all about. It got many, many views and um, many people commented on it about the way forward. So, Thailand, with regard to investment and trying to encourage tourism for 2022, and with the new slogan. What do you think of the new slogan? Visit Thailand 2022. Thailand has it all. Well, maybe it's not so much at the minute, but they're going to invest a lot of money into Phuket to try and encourage people to visit Phuket. And they say they're going to make Phuket world famous or world, or world renowned, something like that. Very, very posh words for like world-class tourist destination. Didn't mention anything about the rest of Thailand, it just said Phuket. Now Phuket, as we know from many people, the sandbox and um, the amount of money they invested into Phuket to attract tourists. And at the minute, as up to this video, only 40 odd thousand people in the three months it's been open, have actually visited Phuket. And by all standards, half of them were people just returning to Thailand and using Phuket rather than being quarantined in a Bangkok hotel for two weeks, using the sandbox method as a, an easier way to get back into Thailand. So Thailand is still expecting in this high season period over a million people to come to Thailand. So I'm one for people living in Thailand. I love Thailand. I've been here 10 years and I sing its praises. But sometimes when they come out with silly statements and there's been a, a few silly statements over the past few months and the other one it's just been come out on the news yesterday with regard to this, uh, oh, excuse me a minute, I need to go and get my cloth. So some news yesterday came out with regard to dual pricing of foreigners in Thailand. Now this will make you laugh. Dual pricing, does it go on? Yes, it does. It goes on everywhere in Thailand. Now, when I look upon it, it's, it's a little tax. I don't take too much notice of it. In England, there's, there's taxes for everything. And in Thailand, there's no TV license. Uh, there's no council tax to pay. So compared to that to England, the TV license to watch TV in England is about £140 a year now. Now, to me, that's a, a tax we have no TV license to pay. So, dual pricing, in my mind, okay, it's another tax. People are not happy about it, and in some ways, it's wrong. But hey, it's Thailand. So, except the dual pricing is going to go on, is it right? Of course, it isn't right. No, it isn't. But what makes it even worse is that. Bad news always spreads better than good news. 
and Thailand at the minute are trying to get people to come and visit Thailand, invest in Thailand. And when little snippets like this come out, does it do Thailand any good? No, it doesn't. So what am I referring to? Okay, there was this Dutch guy who sued the hospital for overcharging him for dual pricing on his medication. Now, he didn't pay a lot, but he objected to the fact that if a Thai person got the same medication, they would pay less. So he actually took the hospital to court and a judgment came out this week with regard to, and this is the shocker, no problem. Couldn't see, couldn't see that it was bad dual pricing, given making foreigners pay more than uh, more than Thai people. And do you know why it wasn't so bad? Because it's good for the economy and it's good for the nation. It's good for Thailand. So therefore, dual pricing has now sort of raised its ugly head and because a judge has said it's okay how many other people are going to jump on the bandwagon and thinking oh okay dual pricing we can do that have i actually encountered dual pricing yes i have and i'm going to give you a couple of examples but there's things you can do about it about this dual pricing you don't have to pay just walk away so we recently went on a holiday to Corsamet, it's local to us, beautiful island, and we went to a, a restaurant overlooking the sea, beautiful views, and there was a couple of menus there, one all in Thai, well, it is Thailand at the end of the day, so why shouldn't it be? And then there was another menu in Thai and English. So I was reading the English menu, as you do, and my wife looked over and looked at the menu, looked at her menu and pointed out to me that the Thai menu was exactly the same as the foreigner menu except that everything on the Thai menu was 10 baht cheaper, everything the coffee, the drinks, the meals everything 10 baht cheaper for absolutely everything so what did we do? We got up and we walked out and we left. Now that is so blatant dual pricing for foreigners and for Thais. I wonder how many other people have just walked out or whether the Thai people, because of this face thing, they don't say nothing and they just accept it. Now I thank my wife for doing this because you know, one, saved me a little bit of money. Wasn't a lot of money. But it's the principle of it is my working out of it. The principle of it. Double pricing. And another occasion, we have a, a local shop where we get our water from. Bottles of water. Bottles of water here for a big 20 litre canister of water is 10 baht. And normally, when we go there, my wife goes into the shop and pays for it, and then I put it in the car. And she doesn't really say nothing. It's 10 back to my wife. And then one day I went in, because my wife wasn't with me, and she said 15 baht. And obviously because I don't speak Thai, I'm thinking, oh, it must have just gone up then. It's gone up from 10, it's been 10 back for years. So I didn't question it. I just thought, yeah, okay. 15 baht. Wasn't a lot for 20 litres of water. And then a week or two later, we went back to the same shop to fill up with the water again. My wife went in and paid 10 baht. So, since then, we don't visit that shop. So in some ways, they just cut their own throat by dual price in foreigners. Why pay more for something that you can get for a better price if you're prepared to shop around? And the third one, I had to go to the hospital a number of years ago and they gave me some medication. And again, this is a hospital, dual pricing. 
is that they give me the medication and they give me antihistamine tablets and I ask why do I need the antihistamine tablets she said oh just in case you're allergic to the tablets I said well I'm not allergic to anything oh just in case just in case so I paid the pharmacy the money that they asked and then I went a month later to a, another pharmacy near where I live to get a, a repeat prescription or a repeat order for the drugs that I got at the hospital. Half the price. Half the price of the hospital. Oh, no hospitals have to make the money and one thing and another. Again, I've got no problem with that, but it's just blatant, blatant. And Thailand are trying to do the best to encourage people to come along. I will always say Thailand is a lovely place to live. Even with these these um, payments, extra payments that you have to pay, just regard it as, a, as an extra ta cash. Sorry, can you hear the thunder in the background? I'm washing the can, it looks like we might get a thunderstorm. So, again, don't be too hard on Thailand because of the dual pricing. As I say, some bad news makes it worse because um, bad news always goes further. But dual pricing goes on everywhere in the world. Now, I used to give prices and quotes to people when I was an electrician in England. I used to give the same price whether they lived in a mansion or whether they lived in a little two bedroom terrace house somewhere. The price was always the same. But I know other people, they look at how wealthy they are and the price goes up. I never did that. I've never done it before and I never ever will do. I'm fair and an honest person and I couldn't live with myself with people who, who do such things. I'm an honest hard working person and my reputation goes before me with regard to honesty and openness. And I still do that over here in Thailand. I would never rip anybody off or hurt anybody. But there are people here who do on a daily basis. So, okay, we'll give it a swill off now. Uh, I'll have a little look at my notes because I did some notes just to keep me in mind, keep me on the right track. Uh, oh yeah, the Thai tourist industry. According to the Tourism Minister, Thailand tourism at the minute is in a coma and people don't have faith in Thailand opening because of the many change in stances with regard to opening and not opening, opening and doing what they say and not doing what they say. So there's a scale of 200 according to the Thai tourist industry and at the minute Thailand is at number 7 out of 200. So that doesn't show very much faith and confidence in the tourist industry. So therefore, they are on an uphill battle to get tourists here. Especially the wealthy tourists is what they want and that, that created quite a lot of comments with regard to my YouTube channel. And um, hopefully this one will give us many comments. So just leave your comments down below what you think. Again, I'll have another little look at my notes. Yeah, so going back onto the hospital charges with regard to their suggestion that char charging foreigners higher prices is good for Thailand. Surely I would have thought a healthy foreign tourist is more beneficial than just getting the money at the hospital. Surely a healthy tourist is going to spend more money by holidays, shopping, eating out, than a sick tourist who's just going to be on medication. So which tourist would you sooner have? A healthy tourist who's going to go out and spend the money in the shops, the restaurants, the bars, the clubs, whatever, or somebody who's sick and is going to be staying at home and on medication. I know which one I'd sooner have. 
I know which one I'd sooner be. I'd sooner be the healthy tourist who doesn't mind spending his money wherever in very nice restaurants or holidays and things like that. I live on 50,000 baht a month and I spend that every month. So a healthy tourist is better than a sick tourist in my mind. So anyway, that was my short video with regard to Thailand and what's going on at the minute. It's laughable. It really is laughable. The, the Ministry of Silliness has struck again. So leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think. Are you still interested in coming to have a holiday in Thailand? My own personal opinion, if you're coming for a holiday, leave it until next year. If you're coming to retire, come and retire. It's still worth jumping through the few hoops and it's worthwhile living here. I love it here and we'll always sing Thailand's praises. But at the end of the day, when they do silly things like what they're doing now, it warrants letting everybody know. And I don't feel bad about it. I just regard it as a, as a tax, some taxes that I didn't have to pay in England. So from there, it's retired and living the dream. Until the next video, bye for now.